So now it's your turn to have a go at this following question. So below are summaries of different paragraphs from this chapter all about the raft. I would like you to number them one to four in the order that they happen. So the first one is done for you. So pause the video and have a go. See if you can label them one to four, please. Okay, so remember what I said last lesson in our summaries lesson about making sure that we always read the possible answers before making a decision. So, I'm going to read the first one. They soak the li lianas in water to soften them and make the raft. Ah, okay, well I know whereabouts that is in my chapter. I know that's about in the middle of my chapter-ish. Fred wanted to make a raft to sail down the river to Manaus to get help. Ah, so that's number one, I know that's number one. So definitely this one comes after that one. Okay, next one. Fred took the raft to the edge of the water and turned back to the clearing. I remember from reading this chapter, it was at the end of that chapter, so that could be number four. But let's keep reading. Con wanted to make a big fire and use it as a smoke signal to get help rather than building a raft. Okay, I think I've got it. So this one's number one. And then I know Khan had a bit of a meltdown straight after Fred had the original idea. And then they soaked the lianas because that's when they started to make the raft and Khan was helping too. And then Fred took the raft to the edge of the water. Let's have a go. Number two, number three, and number four. Well done if you got all those right year four. Super work. Okay. So your independent learning for today is to summarise this chapter, The Raft, using all of the text from your resources from yesterday, as well as the text from today. I think it's about six pages, so not too long, okay? So use the template provided. This big box is for a picture. The little box is for writing. Remember to include all the key events and the characters, but don't include every small detail. So we've had a look at some of the key events from the chapter so far, so that might spring to bring some inspiration to your mind but I did just want to show you Ibrahim's I hope you don't mind Ibrahim that when Ibrahim sent this to me I was really super impressed because he has drawn some beautiful pictures but not only that he's also done lots and lots of detail okay so first he started saying that they were in a plane traveling over the rainforest then they crashed and it's the, the plane going into the rainforest then they went out and they started exploring. Then inches from Fred's shoe about that snake that they saw ages ago. Well done, Ibrahim. Ah, then they followed some ants to find some water from somewhere. Then the ants led them to a carcass of a bird, so a bird that was not alive anymore. Then um, Khan was um, in the rainforest too. And then they found something else. So well done, Ibrahim, for that super, super summary of what you've read so far. So just showing you that might give you some inspiration for how you want to lay yours out today. But remember, we are not going to do the same as this today because that was the last summary session. And today you are going to be actually just doing the, the chapter all about the raft. Final plenary here for you. If you had to give one piece of advice to someone who had not summarised before, what would it be? Pause the video and have a think. Okay, so you might have been given one piece of advice to someone to make sure that they read the question. You might give someone advice to make sure they, make sure they try and link it to what they already know. You might give someone the advice to make them, in terms of when we are ordering, to make sure that they are reading all of the possible answers before making a decision before making a really quick decision, okay? You might have also given another piece of advice about making sure that if it's a tick question, that you read how many boxes are required to be ticked. If it's just the one, only tick one. But if it's three, tick three, okay? There's, it's better to answer all three than just do one, okay? Even if you're not sure. Have a lovely rest of your afternoon, year four. I will see you in our next lesson. Goodbye.